the newest things in Kraken 2.1.0. This is Pro Tools 23.3 is working. It's the first thing. Second thing is I brought something back that was in Kraken 1 but dropped out of Kraken 2, which is the ability to scan to AAF clips and other rendered clips to sync. So we've got AAF tracks as sync tracks. And you can see they're all matching. So here's an example. You really think I'll help you kill my father? Go to Kraken. R and T is now implemented. You really think I'll help you kill? So R and T to zoom in and out, which has been requested for a while. That's now working. Um, next functionality, in no particular order, hyper search. So the search panel has got now it's got two different searches which can be combined with and or or, so and would be that both things have to, have to be correct. So the ne if the name contains x3 and the whatever scene contains d, or or will give you both, so you can, that's like two searches in one, so name contains x3 and name contains 16d. We've now got the 16s and the X3s. Uh, I've added starts with and ends with, self-explanatory. Self so that's for more complex searches. And the biggest uh, improvement is this little thing calling hypersearch for now. If you turn on hypersearch, uh, whereas before, if you, let's just do one search, if you did X3, it would show you just the X3s. Hypersearch mode, it keeps the whole original list there and it just highlights the X3s and you can do Command G to move to them and Shift Command G to move back. So this is if you want to search but see the context of the search. So Hyper Search just highlights in the full list and turning it off gives you the original that just isolates the list. Uh, so that's pretty useful. Uh, find matches with Lookup EDL, just another thing that was dropped from Kraken to for no good reason and I brought it back if you had I've made an EDL here which just is a simulation of a dodgy EDL with no role name and no clip name just time code so there's no way to locate the correct day for the material but if you have a different EDL which you know is the correct material in this case it's an audio EDL you know is the correct material and it's matched we can say for this EDL please find matches using other EDL and you can pick the one that is matched and for each clip it will look up in the other EDL the what day it is and it will use time code and so there's this is just a simulated EDL so they're all the same clips yeah uh, lots of other bug fixes uh, there is oh there is now a export report track so this EDL that has some things matched it has Titan sync offsets if you do export report track, you can include uh, a clip group for anything unmatched and also for anything unusual in the Titan Sync info, as in it hasn't been synced or it's got a very large offset. If I export that and go to the original file, it creates this report.clip group, which I have to drag into Pro Tools. I'll just drag it into a new track. Spot it as with the uh, picture cut tracks. Ungroup it. Go to the start. Let's see if it has anything useful in it. So it says no match for the tone, of course. The tone had no match. Makes sense. And then zooming out it's just highlighting now where the issue areas so here's an area of no match which is at 33 46 if I go to 33 you can see all these lack of matches so that just allows you to see it and then over here we also have no matches and we have some large sync offset so that just tells you that the fixed sync 
at a large offset so you can look out um, I can tweak these colors this is just my first version I've just hard coded these colors and there'll be more 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 reporting options on the tracks uh, in future versions okay great that's uh, all the features that I can see in the list everything else is just bug fixes thanks very much